Hey there everyone, Trentia here, and welcome back to Turok 3. Now, uh, just for full transparency, I did not really practice this stage like I have the others, uh, because I've, I've spent most of my evening troubleshooting something, and uh, I really just kind of wanted to record and play Turok 3, so I'm just going to record and play Turok 3. And I'll get more into exactly what I'm yapping about here in just a moment. Okay, everything's dead. Uh, basically, the long short of it is, uh, I... I in case you, you, you don't watch my other videos, uh, my, my Baltro video in particular, where I was drinking tea and yapping and flushing. I, uh, I, I got the I Am 8-Bit release of the Persona dancing game soundtracks on vinyl. And uh, super long story short, I need to go write a support ticket uh, to at least replace three of my discs. And I need to go listen to the other three again and make sure I don't need them to get replaced because they all have pressing issues. This place, it's familiar to me, like I've been here before. I feel it too. The presence of our forefathers. Many Turok must have visited this area of the lost land. Danny, I think we should split up. If one of us dies, the lineage lives on. But if Oblivion catches us together... I I know. Be careful, little brother. I will. Look, Joseph says that as if he would ever get laid in his entire life. This fucking dweeb ass son of a gun. Yeah, this is where we get the first key and the first to rock. Remember this? Oh, this is like a very shiny, reflective material. It's weird. Also, kind of like it, even the screen space. I think, or no, is it a cube map, maybe? I don't know. It's going crazy, though. I forgot about this fucking guy. Fuck you. Such a mean trick. And this is not the way to go, but there is stuff over here, and I think there's arrows, which is what I would... Yes, I crave. Excuse me. I don't know why all of a sudden I start recording. <laughs> My body's like, yes. We, we must start being burpy, even though you haven't... drinking or eaten anything in the last several hours, except for water. You guys like the dark? Yeah, nice narrow path. Oh, oh yeah, I guess I should also mention, I don't remember where things differ with, uh... I mean, certainly Danny's not going this way. Because this, that was a very small hole and it was also dark. Uh, I don't remember where she goes. We'll find out together. Oh no, this hole's too tiny for Danny. Look up and back up a little bit and you just, you do this. You shoot up here to this nice little campsite. Someone's been, uh, hunkering down here. And then, uh, yeah, that, that's that's how you get over here is Danny. It's really just that simple. After this section, maybe. I'll, I'll just cut into it in the middle of it. I mean, I'll cut myself off. I'm used to doing that anyways. Yeah, no, it, it, it's it's very funny. Uh, you know, I, I had recently, leading up, maybe it was after this remaster, I don't remember. I spent like a week getting all the achievements in Turok 1 and 2, and then I really realized I just don't like how Turok 2 flows. I mean, the best master cheat in the whole series, with Beware of Living is in hand, that, that cheat goes absolutely hard. But man, when like you just, you get lost in Turok 2, you, you get freaking lost, and it takes a long ass time to figure it out. And like it's like that's like every stage too. Also skill issue, but besides the point. Uh, Turok one though was pretty good. I like Turok one a lot, which is funny because I remember as a kid, I'd always prefer playing Turok two. But then again, you know it goes hand in hand with the the cheating master cheat and just having fun with like a cerebral bore. I guess it's kind of like in the same way where, as as a, a high schooler. I, I liked Doom 2 more than Doom 1, but now, as I'm older, and I'm, I'm a slightly older man-child, uh, I prefer Doom 1 to Doom 2. I just think it flows better. Even though, like, Doom 2 has, like, the perfect monster set, especially, like, with, with custom maps, like, th those mappers have, have just utilized those monsters so well. But as far as base levels go, Doom 1 is just really good. And you can really tell I did not prepare for this episode because I'm spending more time talking about random stuff than the actual level we're on. But I mean, I don't know. There's really nothing 
crazy to say about this level so far, except for that guy with the assault rifle. How come his fires automatically and not burst? I would like an automatic weapon. Yeah, there's no no shotgun up here. Or oh, was it explosive shells up here in Turok 1? Regardless, it was good. However, the one thing I do know is that uh, this is the best part of the stage right here, bar none. Hello, Raptor. Goodbye, Raptor. Yeah, but there is another one. So we'll just freeze frame him. Uh, but he's right in front of the life force. As long as it re-ups the stun duration. And next one is going to give us our health. I don't recall there's any dialogue during this. But maybe there is. Hello, Adon. She's sneaking around. Very precariously. Oh no, the child fell into the well. Quickly, everyone. Call Fido or something. The child is the key. What does it mean? Joshua? Stay your hand, child. You can save him. How? How can I save him? Seek the keepers. The keepers. She has found the grotto. She knows that he can be saved. Indeed. <laughs> she is playing her part perfectly. What if she learns of our true purpose? That would be unfortunate. Guys, I think all the floating talking heads... Well, they're not floating, they're on gimbals. I think all of the gimbal talking heads are just slightly evil. I can't really figure it out, though. What I can figure out is that that guy no longer has a head, and neither does that guy, and this guy is also about to lose his head. I would, I would like him to lose his head. Okay, so that was still a headshot when it was clearly in the chest, but may maybe, you know, maybe, <laughs> you know, you ever heard about that part in a, in a man's head where if you shoot it, his head explodes? Maybe it's like that, but if you shoot just in the right spot of, like, the heart or the lungs or something. So that's the way we need to go, but we can get other stuff down here. Now, this is the one thing I do recall, though, about uh, Danny is that she can grapple to, like, over here. I don't think us as Joseph can get over there because, you know, we were a manlet and we don't get a cool grapple thing. We just get fucking night vision. These guys still have heat signatures. Wonder why that is. However, this game does not do the cardinal sin of not putting anything underneath the cool waterfall because under the waterfall you get three life force and some sorry for bullets. It's at least something. Is that a guy in there I saw? No? Okay. Also, I just want to give a huge shout out to, uh, to Night Dive for making the sensitivity of the sniper scope not abysmal. You know, we've all played those games where, like, especially if they're, they're of an older, uh, you know, older degree, which I mean, yeah, I know this is a remaster, but still, and it's also the first time it's been done on the N64. But, you know, you play those games like you go to snipe in and like you like move your mouse normally and it's just like ee, as opposed to, you know, moving at a normal pace. That's all that's all I'm trying to say. I almost just missed that jump. So, yeah, over there, I think, yeah, Danny gets more life force when I think about it. Because, yeah, I don't think there's no way you're making that jump. I don't, think I don't think there's any grenade jumping, so no real key way to get it either. But I'm assuming we got some life force in the, the small shrink crouch areas to make up for the the lack of it we'll get here we can also gonna climb up the fucking wall which i really don't think well, there's this guy though goodbye to your head too yeah well whatever i'm not gonna risk it i'm just gonna land on the other side of this fence now i think you actually can land on this middle platform i think i did it before i can't do it anymore but whatever okay whatever i'm just gonna stop transitioning between loading zones yeah there's a guy in this fucking bush too so you can die. Also, okay, yeah. I think these guys just keep spawning. Over here. 
and get frozen, idiot. Say goodbye to your head. So just in case those guys keep spawning, I'm just gonna get on with it. If we go down the waterfall here and go underwater, you can see there's a little cave down there. I don't ever remember what's down here, especially because I did practice at least this much of the stage. All right, so a vampire gun, if you didn't come across it when it was given to you, and a life force that was very stubborn and not wanting to be picked up. Once again, I just, I feel like I remember the vampire gun being a lot more useful in the N64. Or maybe I just, you know, I don't remember anything. All right, how do I want to deal with this next part though? We have a bit of an onslaught coming up. Like, okay, you know, it's, it's Tarox, so you don't get like that many enemies thrown at you ever. But the ones that do get thrown at you can be a little dangerous. I'm just going to bust out the shredder, so at least this can make these idiots freeze in their tracks. Oh my god, did he get hit and not care about it? Okay, man, that, that was very satisfying to watch that one pal just go straight into his skull. Damn, that was also very satisfying. Uh, we do have another, like, an actual secret area. I think I only found two. Uh, one of them being that where the Stormbow was in the, the first stage. And then this one will be the second. Okay, whatever. Oh my god, I, can I get unstuck on this fucking torch? My fucking HP is now in goddamn shambles. Now these guys are spawning everywhere, but it's fine. We, we gain ultra health here in a second. Alright, so, so do we have to hit both of these? I don't know what the first one did. Did the, the, the first one give us access back to the first area? Oh, yeah, we get the Razor Wind in here, and the Razor Wind is very, very good. Maybe not super beneficial for the hit scanners we have ahead of us. Uh, but, oh, man, this is my favorite mechanic, though. If you kill a guy with the Razor Wind and it gets covered in blood, you can throw it at the wall, and then you can, uh, you can get rid of the blood. Yeah, secret area here. We have Cerebral Boar, who will be showing us off in a second. Uh, then we have Rip Corporal and uh, Rip DWH. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but it's a reference to anything. Or it was just, you know, they care for their dead, and they, they put their dead that they respect uh, in a hole you have to jump onto a ledge to get to. I guess nobody's fucking with that if it's up there. I really disliked that guy, but at least, you know, he didn't take out too much of our health. Let's see, if we go over here... Okay, so, yeah, we can open up this window here and get back to where we were. I am going to go back, though, because we can get more life force in the water. You know, I really want to try to get down to that thing, and I also, like... I hate that life force staring at me. The life force just mocks me, and I want to get it for more max HP, because that's always good. And if we go this way, where is this fucking guy? He's right there. I, I remember that from this this freaking afternoon or whatever. When I got home from work and I was just practicing. Wait, did I just see through the world right here? Yeah, nice, nice scene, Night Dive. What are we doing here? I don't know why. I No, no, give me that. Thank God that this it, ripping torrent of water can be defeated by simply just jumping. I don't know why I have such a kick out of just like complaining about visible seams and geometry, even though it really doesn't mean anything to me. Can I break this? I can. That's what I thought. And I don't recall there's anything like useful down here. It doesn't seem like it. This little clips. Don't let Bangalore Apex Legends hear about me calling that a pistol clip though, because she'll fucking kill me. She'll probably say some of the lines of clips are what civvies put in their hair because you know she's military pilled and uh gun maxing anyways yeah I, I just saw i could climb a vine over there so i, I really want to get to that vine oh, does this work too for climbing it does well that seems cute and fun can can these rocks do anything there's nothing behind them Oh, I don't want to fall down, though. But I do have a grenade launcher. That's, that's uh, not a grenade launcher. Alright, I'm bored. I'm now going to go into the hole here.
No, I don't remember what the chapter was called, but we have this here. I, 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 oh wait, he's, is that just bones? Yeah, he's got bones. I didn't even fucking realize that. That's pretty tight. So is this just a way to skip running down here? This is like the weirdest extra bonus thing. I mean, we get some life force, which is cool. And if this leads where I think it leads, we also get the napalm cannon. We get the upgraded grenade launcher. Okay, this is really weird. So I don't think this guy spawned yet, right? This this guy wouldn't spawn until we kill the guys down below. Oh, that's right, I've still never... Like, th this is a thing, right? You can get over here somehow? You must have to if, it, if it's that detailed. Hopefully that guy died. Yeah, but now we, not yet. Now the warlord spawns up top. This is one of the few times it gives you like a gimmick enemy now that I think about it. Anything behind here? No. Yeah, I, I like to try to kill this guy first if I can though, because he aggros, and I'm pretty sure they can I don't know if they can actually hurt you when that cutscene's playing, but they will be attacking you in the in the interim. Also, make sure you don't land on that. If you touch that, I think you instantly die. So yeah, this gimmick. Here's Warlord. And then you just hit the switch, and he falls down and dies. You you cannot kill him normally. He will just heal all of the damage you do to him. If you go downstairs, he drops us an Ultra Health and a Gate Key. Oh yeah, once again, I'm so, 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 I feel like that has to be a fucking pathway you can take. Maybe, maybe not. When I, when I do the Danny run through, I'll have to take a look at that. Like, I don't think I can get through these windows either, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure this, this is literally just through the door. We just go over the door, or through the door and around the bend here. And once we get to the wall, we, we can't crawl underneath that thing because we're, we're too tall. So we have to shoot ourselves up here. You know, you get some life force. We get, we get some extra life force to Danny over here. It's pretty cool. I, I like that. I wish I could do this, Joseph. I complain about that already, probably. Whenever I cut this in. Yeah, then we just jump onto the wall right here. Don't forget to kill this idiot. And uh, we have one more slight little thing in this section, but I'm just going to meet you there, of course. After dealing with this little section here where you get the razor wind, uh, as Danny, we can simply just... You know, go in here, do what we typically do. I mean, we can't go down there. That's a Joseph exclusive hole. But, you know, we could just jump down right here. Uh, but if you recall in the footage you just watched moments ago, probably, uh, I was like, man, what are, what are the deal with these rocks up here? And well, if you stand on the rocks, you get this very precariously placed orb that you can grapple to that takes you to the final gate. I'm just going to skip this. And over here, we get uh, Danny's explosive weapon upgrade the rpg yeah this thing just takes you right on top of the final gate but you have to jump down and wait for this guy to spawn uh here's what happens if you fall down here oh it won't, it won't let me uh it won't let me commit death oh yeah I, I was so unprepared to do this today that i didn't even change my keyboard so i have one keyboard that i i've been switching to for like normal use and like not gaming just because i have brain rot and i have too many keyboards it's a weird problem to have never used to have it but now i do but I, and my, my gaming keyboard is just over in the, uh, over there on the left hand side of my desk one unfortunate time for you not to die in one shot Yeah, see, okay, I knew a guy spawned up here, but you had to kill that guy first. Baldies in solidarity. Oops, that was a miss. Man, remember when I had 230 health? That was sick. Feels like so long ago. I don't think we're out of the woods yet. I do think we have more idiots to kill somewhere in this whole little maze here. I say maze, it's just rooms. Nothing here, nothing here. Uh, I do need those shotgun shells, though. I do still have all my Stormbow shots. 
I mean, if, if I was like a chipmunk, like the one that's in my garage, probably, I could get right through that. <laughs> and we, we love critters. I was just going to work this, this morning, and, uh, yeah, how's it go? That's a chipmunk on my lawnmower. Uh, so, yeah, I hope he's enjoying life. It seems like a pretty chill environment to be in. Not for me, though. Now I'm afraid to open up my garage door and I have to go get, uh, like, animal repellent or something. That's enough about me tra trauma dumping about my day. Let's talk more about jumping inside buildings. And this was lit up recently because it's still smoking. Alright, so let's see if I can actually remember the order of operations here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can also get this secret here. You just fucking do that little, uh, C jump. This dude looks like he got hit by the vampire gun. So my question is, who the fuck was using that on a guy? Alright, so yeah, now that we hit that switch, though, we can get over here. Which allows us... Wait, we could've got over here. Oh, yeah. This guy, huh? I'm gonna cut you up. Did I cut his arm and his head off in one foul swoop? Hey, I believe if you're Danny, you can just go in here and, uh, grapple up there. Ooh, we can at least jump up here. That's pretty nice. So yeah, you can almost get up here, but, uh, just like Skilo, Joseph was, he was a little bit taller. You yeah, know, we have to go through the dark room. Yeah, it's dark in here, by the way. Look at how nice the, the shredder looks glowing. Yeah, we have to go through the dark room, and we get to crawl under a, uh, a small gap in boxes. Wait, also, if I didn't mention it, I'm fairly certain this is the longest stage in the whole game. Because, like, we're halfway done about now. Like, once we get out of this part, there, there's a whole lot to this level. Which is cool, because, yeah, these other stages so far have been kind of short. Especially when you know what you're doing. But even when you don't know what you're doing, these stages don't go too long, typically. Which is actually one of, like, the strengths. Because Turok 2, stages go on for fucking ever. Turok 1 also has some lengthy stages, to be honest. But I don't mind it so much in Turok 1. So it's just like, I don't know. Well, the save points are also kind of common in Turok 2, but yeah. That's just my whole, that's my, my, my TED talk, is that Turok 2 stages are way too fucking long. And way too confusing. Turok 3 goad for that one for real. Yeah, so you have, you have to shoot that ceiling window. <laughs> the ceiling glass, the sunroof. To make that guy fall, to make that scepter go down, and then you get the scepter there. When I was playing this game for the first time when the remaster came out. Because uh, I never, as I think I mentioned, I never beat this game when I was a kid, really. I always just used to warp around to the levels, but... I got stuck here for the books. I was like, man, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? And I think I shot a shredder shot and it broke the window. And that's when I figured it out. Now I feel like there was something I could do here. Maybe it's when I get back, but I can, I can get the, the, the PSG part is up there. Well, first things first. Want to get this life force. Anything cool into here? No, this is a very quick current though. Ooh, if you listen closely... You can hear them chanting. And also, just because I find it very interesting, this game has some amount of extreme momentum when you go down uh, ramps. Yeah, so we unlock this in there. You know what? I haven't used this Cerebral War yet. So, uh, you know, I'm going to recreate something from uh, a long time ago. Wow, it's already locked onto a guy, huh? I guess they already stopped their chanting, though. So I was gonna say, you know, I'm here from the boys club. We're here to throw down. Ow. Man, that blood is spraying really far. And he blows up. The, the Cerebral Boar is like the sickest gun in gaming. I'm also glad you waited till like I was almost dead and just started shooting at me with your fucking blow darts. Real cool. All right, let's see if I remember what to do here. Remember hitting these levers. This comes down. Yeah, we have these guys from level 2. Remember, these guys from level 2, they're back. Just the two of them. And we get the Lava Globe. And then we put the... Do we have to put the Lava Globe here and this opens up? 
I, I remember this though as well. This, this is what we're just looking at over there, right? Hey, I was listening to the sound of water cut out. So before we go down that way, that room should have opened, I think. Oh, yeah, these guys are just respawned in there, huh? Okay, I really don't know what's about to happen here when I do this. I think we can get out of here. So I think we go, yeah, we drop down here. We get another cerebral bore. And then, yeah, the, the wall drops down and reveals to us where we were. All right, so am I going to this? Yeah, the fiery encounter. Okay, let me let me reposition because I need to lock in for this section, as the, the kids say. Uh, that's code for I'm in a really weird position and my back hurts and me sitting like a shrimp is not helping my back. Okay, yeah, so uh, this section. We're, we're in a, a big old fire cave now. Thankfully, these guys are very kind with dropping ammo. Just uh, you make sure you watch out when they die because they will drop fiery goo. So yeah, very tasty lava down there. Yeah, we, we get a whole ass extra gimmick here of uh, air tunnels. God, those guys just spawn, huh? There's one up there. All right, if we go up here, we do get lifted up. And I think we can, we, we get landed. Where are we, where are we landing? Where are we landing here? Or you maybe saw that rock as I was flying up for a split second. Yeah, so these guys are going to spawn like crazy until we, uh, we block their spawn, so to speak. There's quite a few things we can we can do in this particular section. And that, yeah, that's the first thing we're going to do is if we go over here and I believe if we touch this, it will fall. All right, so never mind. Uh, that just blocks the air vent. It does not do anything about them spawning. But now I'm trying to remember. I, I there, there's a place we can drop down to that is beneficial to drop down to. I, is this this isn't the way to go, right? This is just another bonus area. The nursery. No, this 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 may be. Oh, I I see stuff over there, and I just can't recall. This may just be extra items. And some life force. But to contrast that, we have more of these. I believe they're called Fireborn. I feel like I remember that from Turok Rage Wars. Oh my lord. And look, Night Dive, I know you even say at the end of the credits here. No, I do not want the, cy the c uh, Cerebral Possessor. I want them dead. But look, man, if you just if you just somehow manage to get the rights and go through the whole remastering Turok Rage Wars... Like, look, you know... I, I didn't really care that you guys cut out multiplayer from this game because I just I just wanted to fucking play Turok 3 finally. But look, if you just, you know, even just give me like the single player component of Turok Rage Wars that isn't broken because I had the old cartridge that had a uh, uh, like bug for one of the game modes and you'd always fail it. Or like, you you know, you'd fail it for playing normally. OK, at least it was an ultra health for doing that. That's nice. Look, that's all I'm saying. I would play the absolute shit out of that. God, to Rock Rage Wars was really fun, but I'm not playing N64. I fucking refuse. All right, so is this? Yeah, so you can see the drop down there. Let, let me just double check what's going on here. Okay, no, 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 no. We go, we go back. We go back because we do a thing to make that not be like that. Extremely descriptive words coming out of my mouth right now. Yeah, so we drop down here. Did I drop down too far? I may have. Mayhaps I may. Or no. No, this this looks right. This looks right. Yeah, because so if we come over here. Yeah, there's this. And if you shoot that. Oh, God, I aggro those guys before the fucking cutscene. Please don't be in my face. I'm clicking rapidly. Yeah, so we have drained the swamp. As they say. <laughs> And uh, now we'll be able to get to uh, that room above, and there will be no lava. The only thing we have to do is just... Well, yeah, go up. Why, why the hell is the air vent going crazy here? We're, we're just going to drop down. 
I, I, okay, I feel like now that I blocked that one air vent, though. Oh my god, I almost just fucking died. What the hell is up with that? That seemed weird as shit. Okay, wait, no, that just leads us, leads us there. Like this, yeah, this air vent just pushes us here. Okay, yeah, the, I don't remember where the fuck the other one is. I'm stuck. <laughs> Is the other one like over? Okay, it's over here. You can tell because you can see the stink. And then where does this one put us? It doesn't put us in the original spot we went in the first time, right? No, okay, it just puts us right back here. That's pretty nice. Uh, we're we're still on, we're still not uh, close to being done with this part yet. By the way, in case you cared. Don't you just spawn in there. Man, these guys are spawning like fucking crazy. I feel like I don't ever recall them spawning like this, but maybe I just would run through. <laughs> Thankfully, they go down really easily. But I feel like every time I say that, uh, that's when they start just becoming extremely immune to my bullets. Whatever. Yeah, you guys do that. I'm going to go crouch underneath this hole and hope that you didn't get out of the lava. But now that I have the opportunity just to, to peek you like that, I'm going to. Alright, cool. Nothing gained. But uh, at least they died. Alright, more precarious platforming going down. We love makeshift spiral staircases in the form of platforms evenly spaced out. Hey, then there's these fucking guys. Forgot about these idiots. God damn it. These little creeps. These are like the things in my garage. <laughs> and then their mom shows up or whatever. Oh, wow. One, one storm bow shot, huh? Well, thanks. Thanks for maxing my ammo out. I'll, I'll leave those arrows in your, your family. Yeah, and just think, I mean, that's not even the only, like, we, we, so, like, okay, that was, like, a mini-boss encounter, so we had the Warlord. We need to shoot that to, to make it drop so we can platform. Yeah, we have, like, several bosses in this level, but whether or not they're actually referred to as bosses or not. Can I make, can I make that jump? There is something up there. I don't know what, though. Is that's a full health? Useful if we need to get full health on anything, of course. Oh my god. Okay, a second one spawned. Why are they spawn at the same time? I mean, I understand that's kind of probably their deal. As being, like, fire rodents. That spawn in lava, but I'd really just prefer if they didn't. Huh. I feel like I don't recall how to get ammo in there, unless that's a Danny-only thing. What's the point of going up here? Unless that's how I'm like supposed to get down, is just jumping on that instead. I do recall there being something else in this room, right? Fucker. Yeah, this is a, uh, there's one guy in the lava here. Then we're able to get into that room. What, 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 what do we have in here? Wait, is that the way to go? Alright, hold the phone real quick. What's over here? There was also a little hole to go into here, right? Surely one of these things has at least some fun items for me. Yes, tea life force. Which, I mean, I'll take. I'll gladly go up another 10 HP. All right now, I think we might be coming up to the boss I keep speaking about. After we transition into this room, right? Yeah, the Heart of Fire. Bang your song from Castlevania 1. Yeah, so we have this idiot. And we have, we have to shoot that thing to make the lava not be lava. But when we do that, the 
Fireborn come out. No, 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 stop. Did he just immediately do that? And now we have to wait. Because if he... If he dives underneath the lava, he will immediately heal. Okay, I just fucking broke it. And he's gonna fucking heal. Ah, uh, man, I don't remember what the best fucking weapon for this is. Okay, so I'm also gathering that I'm the one making this thing break instantaneously. Please just die! Please just die! Please just die! Thank God! Fuck this goddamn boss! He's not hard, just kind of annoying. Oh, but it didn't make all my arrows go away. At least I have four for this. And now we have the Gem of Fire. Oh, wait. Can I go this way? No. Okay, this, this current too strong. But I do believe we spawn out here in a nice new area. And by new, I just mean it's the lower section of the area that we came into this place in. And this is weird-ass, like, just nothingness here. It doesn't break or anything, so I don't know what the hell it's going for. And there's that life force up there, which will require us to take this elevator twice. But it's, it's probably... Or, actually, wait, can I even make that? Seems like a crazy fucking... Pipe dream, and I just fucking hurt myself in the process. I'm sure they just give me a fucking, like, vine climb up something, right? Unless it really expects me to... Well, I think that would just straight up kill me if I jumped from up there. I mean, like, like, just give me, like, an unmarked wall to climb. Let me just climb the tree. Actually, wait, can I land? Can I, is that how you do it? Do you land on the tree? Okay, that was a piss poor jump. We'll think, we'll figure it out. Yes, the answer is jump on the damn tree. That was so worth getting to 69 life force. Just throwing it out there. Let's finally ride this. Rad, ride this bad boy up. You know, if I do this right... Okay, maybe I don't have to do anything right. This is, this is how you get here. I think... Okay, so... If you are fast enough coming over here initially, I believe you can just jump up the stairs and get up here early. Maybe I'm just thinking something different. Yeah, now we have the gem of ice. I'm just gonna let everyone in here just fucking rot on their pedestals. We slam these crystals in. The temple bridge lowers. Actually, I mean, let me just double check. I did. I did get this right. Okay, we're missing the last one. So slow. And now we get to go into oblivion. Well, it's oblivion's headquarters. Spoilers. Hell it is! 
You were nearly destroyed once. We can stop you. We shall see. Yeah, uh, Joseph, they just activated the Master Chief of Proc 2. You're fucked, kiddo. And they all spin and go bye bye. Now, I want to say that this stage six. Is this stage six start? Does it tell me? It says chapter five Oblivion. So, yeah, that tells me that it is. Uh, let me just go walk forward like one more room just in case there's like another, like a chapter load immediately. Okay, there's a portal. That's what I like to see. And we need to locate and rescue the child. There's your razor one in case you missed it in the side thing that you know we had to go through. But yeah, all right, the last stage of Turok 3. We will beat this game next time. So thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm Trentia, and you guys have a good day.